Hey, it's Elena Gordon, broker of Record, Remax Gordon Group Realty, and I want to talk about stats today. Today is June 5th, 2023, and look through the stats from Toronto Real Estate Board. We will start from economics indicator. And as you can see, real GDP growth is up, it's 3.1%. Toronto employment growth is still up, it's 2.4%. Toronto unemployment rate is down, it's 5.6%. Inflation in April 2023 was 4.4%. It's up because in March 2023, it was 4.3%. Bank of Canada overnight uh, rate is 4.5. But on June 7th, 2023, Central Bank said they will hike the rate. It's another uh, quarter percent. It will be 4.75. Prime rate in Central Bank's 6.7% and mortgage rates 6 Point twenty nine and six fourteen. Max will be total residential transaction. As as you can see, we actually sold more in May this year than in May last year. We are up by twenty four point seven percent for the total residential transaction. So it shows the market is more active right now. Seasonal adjustment May two thousand twenty three. We sold five point two percent more than in April 2023. Next will be average selling price. Average selling price to compare to the May 2022 is minus 1.2%. It's not so bad, not big change. And uh, seasonally adjustments in May this year, uh, the average selling price is up by 3.2% to compare to the April this year. And new listing. New listing in May 2023 to compare to May 2022, we are down by 18.7%. That shows that inventory is shrinking. We don't have much inventory. If we look on the sales to new listing ratio, we are 59% uh, right now. And this ratio is showing if it's buyer market, balance market, or seller's market. And uh, balance market is usually from 40 to 60%, and we are 59, so we just on the border between balance market and seller's market. And now, days on the market, we are up by 11.1% for days on the market. And now it's take 20 days to sell the property. Now let's look on the sales and average price by major home types. Sales. The most popular transaction was for detached properties in 905 area. We sold 3,079 properties. Next popular it was a condo apartment in 416 area. We sold 1,694. And third most popular was a townhouse in 905 area. We sold 1,217 properties. Regarding average selling price, uh, the most popular transaction was for detached uh, properties in 905 area and average price for this category $1,444,234 and next most popular was for condo apartments in 416 area and uh, the average price for it was 784,914. And we can see that by the price it's more affordable and probably that's why it's uh, most popular. Third more popular was uh, Honda in 905 area and selling price for this category 986,671.
Now let's look on the average price year to year change and compare May this year to the May last year and we see there is no negative changes. Prices are up to compare to the last year. Just condo apartment in 905 area shows that negative 6.3%. So the average sale price went down. But if I show you my next slide, you can see that it's actually not that bad because look, condo apartment in 905 area in May 2022 to compare to May 2021 went up by 19.7%. So this year 6.3% down doesn't make big difference. It's still up. It's just for people who bought on a hike last year. For them, uh, it's not good to sell now. But remember, Real estate is always good as a long-term investment. Saying this, I want to summarize everything I want to say. Yes, there is changes on the market, but overall the economy is not doing bad. Actually, the GDP growth is still up. Toronto employment rate is up. Toronto unemployment rate is down. Yes, the inflation went up by 0.1% uh, last month. Now it's 4.4 to compare to March uh, this year. It was 4.3. So probably because of that, the central bank will hike the rate again to keep um, inflation under control. And the question is, will it affect the prices? Probably not much. The prices will not go down because it's always about supply and demand. And as you saw from these numbers, we have 18% less new listings coming to the market to compare to the last year, but demand is still high, even though the market rate is high. And should we blame immigration that uh, Canada government um, going to bring this year, next two years, 1.5 million new immigrants? Probably yes. And also what I see from my sellers and buyers, uh, the people moving from more expensive area to less expensive area to have their expenses under control and they take equity from their houses and they put it in the houses in less expensive area. And not just immigration, we are creating this demand and as long as demand is high, prices will not go down. It was all for today. Stay tuned, stay connected, and I'll see you next month.